Okay, right in there. Right where Gary's coming out. All right, here we go. Holy cow. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, that's the back of the closet, I believe. I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It might be right now. It's really going to come in. Yeah, it looks like it's... Well, I don't know where the way it was flexing. You see how it's pushing into it? Pushing in now that we're bending over it. Right. I don't know. I don't know if we can do it as big. It's gonna, it's gonna plop right down on its bed. Um, I don't think we're gonna be able to clear this dish. I don't know. I mean, what is that? This? Yeah. It was. I don't know what it was. It was on. I mean, it was on there when we bought it. But can so we the take it off? Neck, it originally wasn't a gooseneck. He put the gooseneck on. Because it was a fifth wheel. Yeah. But I don't know if this was like some kind of guide he put on there. But it's definitely cutting. You can see it. Yeah, it done broke into the front of the camera. I camper. see it. You know what? If you got, if you got the love nuts. You know I, what? Is that it? Is that? Oh, that, is that, that's a paint leak. I thought it was cracked. I thought, I thought for a second it was shaft cracked. Oh. I'm going on like zero sleep here. Oh. Because I see your kingpin in there. If you want, it might lower it if we um, take off that adapter. You know what I mean? You got tools to do that? I didn't bring my tools with me. Oh, Gary might have. We got tools. You see that right there? Those, the, all you need are those four lug nuts. Set it up. Yeah, yeah those right there. Yeah. So we'd have to lift it up off the hitch. Yeah, to take it, it off. To take it to take this um, this uh, the the, adapter, this adapter off, yeah. Off, yeah. And then lower it down. And it will lower it down because this is how high mine sits right there. Where's the part that... Oh, it would sit up here. It would sit right there, yeah. Okay. Do we need to take this thing off too? That bracket on top or... That thing, yeah. That's... Whatever that thing is for? I don't know. I don't know what that is for. Okay, I don't know why it's even trying to get into it. Oh, uh, it, it... It seemed like when you were backing up, like, the whole... Like it's shifted, like it's not even, it's supposed to be sitting more upright, am I right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like it's something snapped or broke. Because it's leaning back hard. It looks yeah. like it's leaning back. It is leaning back. Yeah. The whole yeah. unit. So I'm afraid that it's just going to rip it right off there if you try to go through there and you, say you pull forward and it's going to drop on the ground. Yeah, 
Yeah, but it looks like it's tilted for like it's uh cracked or something somewhere. Yeah, it's still in. It's still in. I was just looking at frame here to make sure. So yeah, because it looks like it's tilted. Yeah, because look what it did to the right here over there. On oh, that yeah. Side. This oh, is all buckled look up. Here. Look at here. Paint line. It has dropped. So it's shifting. Something's come loose or something. Yeah, paint line, same thing over here. It shifted. Well, what the heck then? We're going to have to... Bringing it out on this foot level real slow. That paint line right there, you can see where it's sitting back. Yeah. Right there? Mm-hmm. Uh, and it could be that, that adapter, huh? Pushing it too high? There's a possibility of it, yeah. Yeah, because I'm looking at it now, it sits, it sits about two inches higher than, than if it was just on the kingpin. Yeah. Okay, so what do we got to do? Drop these things and try to let it sit? Well, Take that off? Yeah, lift it up. Up off there or it's just going to... Yeah, you're going to have to straighten it back out and get it back down there towards the house so we can do something with it. Um, so, here's the plan. Where you made that wide turn down there on that first curve? Yeah. That, that open field right there? Yeah, yeah, just have yeah. you park it on the edge of the road right there, okay. and uh, you can just drop it, and we'll get Wiley to come over here with it. Let's figure out what's going on with it tomorrow when it's daylight. We'll get Wiley to bring it over here and, and move it into here. We take that chance of going in there, and that thing breaks, and yeah. then everybody's screwed. Yeah. Yeah, rip off there. yeah I don't think I you can. I'm glad I, I'm glad I saw it. Yeah, because that would have ripped it right off. Go to bed. <laughs> oh. Man. Yeah, I think this adapter is what pushed it up. If you look at it, see how high this sits? And yeah. the adapter pushes it like two inches higher than that. And you bought it like this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the way it came. Yeah, we could have yeah. it like that all the way from Illinois. We didn't have any problems with it. Really? Yeah. But you had a flatbed, huh? Yeah. But it, I mean, everything clears like when you turn and everything. Like the hitch, right? Like you, it didn't hit on your bed at all anywhere. Hmm. No. Here, but okay. Like so what do we got to do first? Let's just do it. You straighten this thing out. We're gonna back it down there. And and we're gonna the take it off there. and worry about it tomorrow when it's daylight. All right. So just very carefully back up then. Oh, goodness. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Look at how close it's getting to the bed now. Yeah, it definitely went down even more because it's almost touching the bed. It's going through the floor of the bedroom right now. Yeah, you see it's good around here too. Yep, don't get close. I don't want you anywhere near it in case it falls off. It looks like it's stained. Trees over here. I'm not worried about the trees. As yeah. long as he doesn't go in the ditch, he's fine. Just yeah. I don't care about the scrapes. Okay. Uh, yeah, you, you drive, man. Get it off of his truck safely. Okay, that's good. Uh -huh.
like a flat top dog. Almost successful. Let me make sure everything's out of your way. Are we all right there? Or? Yeah, I think. Get underneath it. Otherwise, otherwise. There you go. Come on back. Come on back. Right there. Yeah. They can just live with it right there. <laughs> well, just tell them it's an emergency. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Yeah. We just need to get those jacks down. I don't know if I can get that thing lifted up high enough to get him out of there. He'll have to turn hard back the other way. To, I don't, to, hope, to get yeah, it high enough to clear. Bad. Is this tilting bad now? Alright, uh, go ahead and get your jacks down. See if we can get it up off. Oh, yeah, this is... And of course, it's a full moon, so... Yeah, we almost made it un unscathed. Yeah, that bar that was pushing in is coming down, so I don't see it coming off the hitch yet, but...
Yeah, it's off. It's off. I think it popped off. Yeah, I think you're gonna be good. Yeah, I think he can just pull right out. Let's go straight out. Yeah. yeah. That shouldn't have broke loose like that, though. Yeah, I was trying to see if there's so like a... I can't tell if it's the frame that did it or if the the, fi the fiberglass fell. Yeah, I don't see... I don't see any, like, visible cracks in the Oh, yeah, look at there. Right there it is, look. Correct. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Look at that right On there. On the inside? Yep. Yeah, right here. Here. Well, I mean, is it going to be... You don't have to be re-welded. It goes all the way back in there. Oh, oh yeah, all the way back right here. I bet you the other side is that way too. Right here, yeah. You yep. see? Oh, it right broke here. loose too. Right here. Oh, yeah, it's pulled away all from the All the way the back frame. up in there. That's why she's leaning back. Yep, it's cracked off both places right there. I can weld it. We'll just take that fiberglass back and then panel it back and we can... Uh, Manipulate it a little bit, see if we can't get it down in there. So. Yeah, I have no idea what this was. It's like some kind of guide to back up or something. Put a little flag I think it was it. because it, that's maybe where they tied their horses off at. That's what it looked like. Yeah, because he did. He had, had a bunch of horses. Yeah, they would just strap their horses to the front. <laughs> so. Um, what we may end up having to do is, I don't know if we're going to be able to get that to bend back over there. Yeah. Damn it, man. Well, it's a good thing it made it here. Yes. Because yeah, uh, that would have, uh, yeah, four four miles, came, that wouldn't be there no came more. Apart yep. On the road. That would have been a catastrophe. Right. Everything oh, we own is in there. Yeah. It's our, our house. Yeah. yeah. We, I told you, we moved from a four bedroom house to this. Yeah. It didn't make the, any noise like that when you pulled it out yeah, yeah. in AZ. I was like, man, it's making a lot of noise. It started. Like, I thought you were coming in hot, like real fast. And I was like, man, this is a lot of noise. Yeah, at this point, I don't know. It's fragile. I'm yeah. glad we just made it here. I, yeah. I really yeah. Am. Yeah, I am too. At least it made it here. And we'll have to do a little repairs I to mean, get it. You probably could have got it back in that hole. But. but it, it could have Why? snapped too, and then if it snaps, then that's a uh, catastrophe. It hasn't been a very good morning. As you know, Back to Good has made it up here. Um, here, I'm going to show you the camper here. Um, guy went to pull it in the hole, and we had a little issue. Look at this, uh, look at this pit wheel. You can see it is bent. Well, when it went to go into the, through the ditch there, this is what we found. Um, thank God we stopped it before we tried to get it into the woods. We got that leveled up way better. It's not completely perfect, but at least it's not completely lopsided like it was. He's a good boy.
All right, y'all. Well, we got the we got the everything down here. So here's what we found when we got up inside here. Is uh, there's this support brace right here, and this goes up to the front of the, the nose of the camper. This basically just helps the nose stay in place. Well, right here we found this one's broke too. Cause look, I can move this one. Look at that. Hanging on by the hair to change. No, it's not hanging on at all. It broke completely off. All right, so here's the other cracks that go up through there and they brought it down all the way through right there So we're gonna try and grind that and, and Tighten this thing up enough so we can move it down the road down there This side is pretty much still intact But we're gonna add a little extra weld right there to that joint and see if we can't help this out But you can see the other side right there how it's broke away from the uh, the frame there. So we're gonna try and pull this thing back, straighten it out, and see if we can't get it on there. The process of that is gonna be hooking a chain to the gooseneck adapter, and we're gonna run it to a come along back to the, uh, the front axle. And we're gonna see if we can't just, we don't need to pull much, but we're just gonna pull a little bit with the come along and, and get it to tighten up, close that gap up a little bit, and then we'll weld it. So we'll bring you back for that in just a minute. tug you did. Taking a dust bath over there. They came closer together. That yeah, did. On this side, it's still got a little bit of ways to go, but it came a lot closer. Yeah, it looked like it was pulling in pretty good. Yeah. Watch your man, come on. Yeah. Who's gonna be the macho okay. man? This side's ripped so bad that I don't know that I'm going to get it all the way tight anyway. We might just have to fill it. Okay, with that, let me go one more click. I think I can get another click. See if you can get one more. Okay. And that's probably as best as we're going to get it right now. Oh, it came up in there. Yeah, it did. Just look, it's pulled it out of here already yeah. an inch. Yeah. That, that actually right there on this side, it's just maybe that the well would weld well. Yeah, it, was just, it was all the way up in there, so it's Yeah, it's up. pretty flush. It's not too bad right now. This side, I think it's just the way it bent it, but it looks like it, it's got a little bit of a gap, but. Yeah, I mean, it's. Basically, all we're trying to do is get it straightened out enough to where um, it can hook up and pull. Out of the way, there we go. Yeah, right there's the crack. 
be good on there. That other side. See it there? Yep. Just wanted to get two good shots of the crack areas in the head. So we're going to let her set a minute. Yeah. And then uh, we're going to see if we can't get another couple cranks on it. But that's, that's straightened out quite a bit right here. Yeah, it looks way better. You can see that huge space from where the uh, bar was into the fiberglass up here. Yeah. yeah, now you can actually, you can see where it, it was. See, that bar was all up in here, and now the, there's a huge gap here. So, I mean, you guys definitely pulled it down. And right here, you can see where this was as cave, was caved into it and was cut it way up to there. So, we oh, pulled yeah. it that, that much so far. See, that was digging in right there. Now it's pulled down out of that hole. So the whole right come there. along thing is working. Yeah, that was almost probably an inch almost right there. We're real close to it, three quarters. Yeah, brought it back quite a bit. The whole trailer? Mm -hmm. No, you can't. Like strongman competition? It looks like it. <laughs> it was looking like it. <laughs> it's moving it. It's bending it. It's yeah. like I'm you're hearing it pop every once in a while. You can let it, you let it settle for a good time. Oh, yeah, you just let it set like that. And, you know, if you can't get a torch on it, which we can't do that up in that hole. Right, yeah, it's too much flammable. Yeah. That's how much water we get. We want a warm shower. It lasts for three minutes. minutes. Hey. Uh, it depends on how much pressure you want. Yeah. I make it last like six minutes. That's consistent, so. Alright, so let's get the grinder up here. Water here to get ready. Up here. The grinder. It's all in there. Right? There's their fire prevention buckets. All right, so for those of you that don't know, sometimes you gotta have, make sure you have a clean, clean ground. And uh, otherwise this thing can shock you, can blow up batteries, all kinds of good stuff. So make sure your ground is good and clean and you have a really good ground on your, your stuff when you're trying to weld. Being we got a ton of powder coat to cut through, we're gonna turn this dog way up here and, and uh, see if we can't make something happen. I need a new welding helmet, is what I need. Seems to be holding it. Sweet! Oh, and Wiley will need us to take that gooseneck off, so he said that he thinks that that's going to be an issue. We need to take it, do it just fifth wheel. Yeah, it's, it looks like it's just four bolts. It should be. It, it shouldn't be hard I've put to get them on it off. before. Yeah. yeah. Woohoo! We get it to try our new tool finally. It ain't the prettiest welding in the world because there's a lot of. A lot of stuff on there, a lot of uh, powder coating on there. So, but you know what? It seems to be holding. We took the come alongs off and it didn't move and it didn't pop and crack and all that stuff. So, I think it's going to hold long enough to get it in place. And that's all we're worried about. 